Hi everybody, Elisa here, back after a little break from making videos. Um, sitting in my car for another Vera Bradley bag of the day, alternate New York City alternate side of the street parking edition. <laughs> I do see the meter maid, while well, meter man, um, coming down the block. I, I have to sit in my parking, uh, in my parking spot, in my car, in case I have to move my car for anyone who's not familiar with the alternate side of the street parking uh, joy <laughs> here in New York City. Um, have to sit in your car in, in case you have to move your car. And if you're not sitting in your car, they give you a ticket. Uh, it's all just an excuse to ticket. Um, anyway, so I'm sitting here. So I'm going to be a little distracted as I usually am in these videos looking at all my my mirrors, my rear view mirror, my side view mirrors, um, just to see if I have to all of a sudden move. Uh, I thought I would do a, a what's in my bag. I'm using my iPad, so I'm not always sure exactly where to look. So hopefully I'm looking at the camera, <laughs> which is always a good thing. Um, I, so I, I, I don't know that I necessarily have a lot of new and exciting stuff. Um, I know that was just, that was the meter man who just walked by. I don't know if you noticed. Um, I haven't been buying as much Vera lately uh, for a couple reasons. I haven't been crazy about the patterns. Um, even the hedgehogs, which I, I still think is very cute and I might break down and get something in the hedgehogs. When I saw it in person, I wasn't quite as, I don't know, I, I didn't feel like it was blowing my hair back the way I thought it would. Uh, something about the faces of the hedgehogs I felt were a little um, almost like so abstractly rendered as to almost be a little problematic like they needed a little more definition a little a little bit more detail um, but I, I do like the background color in that bag uh, so we'll see but I, I you know, now that everything is recycled fabric, um, which I'm not crazy about um, for various reasons that I've already gone over ad nauseum um, in previous videos, so uh, and and they've raised the prices substantially recently, so it makes it kind of feel like I really want to pick and choose carefully uh, what what I'm buying, even though I do have a slew of gift cards right now from returns that I made. Um, Anyway, so, I, so I've been kind of holding back. Um, I know the Disney release just came out yesterday. Um, not a huge fan of the color schemes in the cotton version. I do like the tonal performance tool version. If people aren't uh, didn't know this, the patterns just came out, go to the website and take a look. Um, I don't remember the names of them off the top of my head, but if you just plug Disney into the search bar, it'll come. they'll come up. Um, so it's kind of neat that they did performance twill. Um, I don't know if they've ever done that before for Disney pattern, um, but I don't like the colors on the, um, the cotton patterns. And uh, also, you know, it's only Mickey and Minnie now in, in this particular pattern. I, I do like the way they're using some of the hidden Mickey head shapes and working them into the flower motifs. I do like that. I love when they do stuff like that. Um, but I again they've just plunked the Minnie and, and Mickey figures on top of that not a huge fan of that and uh, again can't get past the this sort of weird burgundy wine kind of color um, palette which I guess is good for fall but um, I'm not a big fan it's kind of manly for me I do like some of the motif, floral motifs in there because I do feel like they hark back to previous patterns, which is nice for that, that continuity. So um, I don't feel like I need to spend that money. The, the latest Harry Potter pattern just came out recently and I do think it's sweet, uh, especially the more ditzy type version of, of, of the pattern. Um, it's on the small, I think it's on the small Vera Tote. I think the larger Vera Tote has the other pattern. Um, but again, you know, it's expensive and I, 
since I'm not in love, 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 uh, I was able to pass on that stuff. So I haven't been buying a lot of new stuff, just little bits here and there, um, and not necessarily the most recent pattern. So I'm just gonna do a what's in my bag, but it, a lot of it might be stuff that I've already shown or that is just not really super new. Um, so, uh, sorry. <laughs> so I'm sorry if it's a little, uh, maybe not the freshest, the newest, but uh, here I am. <laughs> Anyway, so my bag is the um, Vera in, uh, oh my God, Best in Show. <laughs> Momentary brain freeze. You know, the puppy pattern. Um, so a, a good, a good classic, not recycled cotton. Yay. And still has the trim, although the trim is the fabric and not microfiber and I, I do like both of those looks I've said that before so that's not a problem for me the fact just you know the fact that there's trim is, is all that I need hopefully the street sweeper guy won't come down the block today uh, well one there's a big con ed truck up there and there's con ed work going on so maybe they won't bother um, but also he came by uh, what's today Friday he came by on he came by yesterday when I didn't have to sit in my car. So I'm hoping maybe that's enough for them for one week. <laughs> the street sweeper things don't do any anything anyway. They just, all they do is mush the grime around. And sometimes you get a guy who's driving the truck who, he, does, he sees, we're all sitting in our car. We're not, what we're supposed to be doing is we're supposed to be double parking on the other side of the street. So that one side of the street is all clear of cars so that the street sweeper can go down and clean that part. So, um, you know, what people do instead of doing that is they just sit in their car in its spot. And then if the street sweeper comes by and he makes us move, then we all move like, you know, it's chaos and everybody's moving and jostling around. It's like, then you try to get back into your spot and it's like playing musical chairs. <laughs> but sometimes so sometimes you get a, a street sweeper guy, driver, who comes down and he doesn't care. He's everyone's not moving and he's like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> he's like, oh, you know, whatever. And I'll, I'll just drive down the block. And he just drives down the block and we all sit here and, and life is good. <laughs> But sometimes you get a guy in his truck and he's like, I am gonna make every one of these people move. <laughs> I, have to, I have to bleep myself. Um, this is my, my, new, my New York, my New York uh, lingo is coming out. And he'll, he'll honk his horn, he'll lean on his horn and we all have to move and it's just, a, it's a mad scene. Um, I have moved back to New York permanently, so I'm now back in my hometown and I feel so good about that. I was really having struggling with people who are watching my videos recently probably know that I was really struggling for a while months um, a good almost a good year and I feel like I'm finally coming out of it um, for a couple of reasons uh, one is that I moved back um, I am living with my dad who is a bit elderly so um, it's the apartment that I grew up in as a kid um, so you know it's not it's not super perfect to be living with your dad after you've been living on your own and all that <laughs> um but I think he's gonna need somebody soon and um he's too stubborn to move and he's too stubborn to um probably have somebody who he doesn't know come in and take care of him so it might it might kind of be like all the planets are aligning um, and it might be here I might be here for a reason as he did uh, we were walking I was walking my dog the other night he was with me and he fell um, and I think he was kind of startled by that so um, I mean he's okay now but he was sore for quite a bit and he got kind of he got some he skinned his knee and his elbow and stuff um, Anyway, so it might be a good thing that, that I'm here. It is a sign that I, I should, I'm where I should be. But there are other things going on that are also helping me heal. And so I feel, I feel better, including all, all of your ladies who are always so supportive. Um, I appreciate you all. 
So in my bag, uh, in no particular order, and I have shown this before, this is the Anna Roll. Oh God, there's a street sweeper guy going down Riverside. See, I'm on a street, I'm on a cross street. Um, the, the, the cross streets run, um, for people who don't know, pretty much run for the bulk of the island of Manhattan, run uh, east-west, and the avenues run uh, north-south. And so he just went, he was going on the avenue. So I don't know if he'll come swing back around and come down here, but he's in the area. <laughs> <laughs> um, on a roll case, uh, French paisley. And I have a lot of junk crammed in here. Um, has a, a flap on it with um, a hidden magnetic closure, and this is a strong magnet. Other things in my bag uh, sometimes attach to this. <laughs> uh, oh, that's pleasant. I wonder if those are the con, that's the con ed stuff going on. Sorry if you can hear that construction noise. We'll see how loud it gets. Um, and in here, I won't go over everything that I have in here, but I do have something new in here. You know, I keep, I have zit cream because you know, I'm bleep years old and I still break out like a teenager. So I have my zit cream. All this stuff I've kind of gone over before, lip balm, uh, lip gloss, this is a good color. I mentioned this before. Clinique Black Honey. They still make it. They've been making it for decades. Looks good on everybody. I highly recommend it. I'm not wearing it right now. What I'm wearing right now is what I'm trying to get out of here. I had some kind of like light lip stain on and uh, I think that was an NYC lip stain. Uh, but this, this is what I put on top and I'm loving this. I just got this. Burt's Bees all a glow product which i guess you could put on your lips and your cheeks or i don't know where else you would want to put it maybe you could i don't know why you would want to put these colors on your eyelids but anyway it's sort of like an all over thing and this is lilac lagoon and i just really love this for my lips it's just very moisturizing without being too goopy and it just has a sheer kind of tint um, but which you can sort of see here but it's not this is a little bit brighter than it would look on its own because I have the stain on underneath it. And my, my mascara, this is um, Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal and this works really well for me. So that, that's it, I'm with you know, a couple other things in there, tissues and uh, hand wipes and stuff like that, dental floss and stuff like that. Um, okay, so on a roll, French paisley, so I shove everything back in here. I like French paisley. And again, you know, I feel like I'm just sort of coveting all the non-recycled stuff. Because uh, I just, you know, can't, I can't get on board with the recycled stuff. And they, just the price increases are kind of insane. So, um, you know, that even, even they jack up the prices of things 20 and, and it seems like even maybe sometimes more bucks. And then, you know, when the sale comes, you know, you get 25% off and it's not, it's not a deal anymore. I mean, it was barely a deal, um, but it's real. so it's really going to take a lot. They're, they're pricing themselves out of an appealing price range for me or a workable price range for me. Not so much in the fact that I can't afford it because I can afford it, but it's the principle of it. I don't think it's worth what they, the product is worth the price anymore. It's not for that recycled fabric uh, and, and the structural problems. It's, it's just not. This is some kind of mini, let's see, jewelry, travel jewelry case. I think this was originally called a travel takes. There's dog hair everywhere. Um, oh, so speaking of dogs, so I I was hoping to have, I have three, I had three. And I was hoping to have them all here in the city with me. Um, but um, that, that didn't work out. Um, unfortunately, I could only have one. And so uh, Pixie, the littlest one, um, she's a cavalier of King Charles. Uh, she came with me because my dad just fell in love with her and, and she's the easiest one to handle in, as I, as I would say, in mixed company. I mean, she just does well with the doorman, she does well in the elevators. 
Uh, she does well on the streets for the most part. She thinks she's Kujo, but I mean, at least I can just pick her up when she's being insane. But she does well with people. She does well with toddlers. That's important. So, um, the other dogs, unfortunately, just were a little too high strung and the building wasn't crazy about it. Um, so they're gonna stay in Pennsylvania, which is where I had been living. And so I do miss them, and I'm, you know, you're not, you're not gonna be seeing them probably so much in videos anymore. And hopefully if I get back to doing videos uh, up in the apartment on a pixie bear, but I'm not gonna have all my girls. And that's sort of heartbreaking for me. Um, a pixie, Pixie does shed. She sheds enough for three and her hair is hard to get up. <laughs> She's a fancy dog and she requires grooming and I am not a grooming gal. <laughs> anyway, so this is the, I think it was a mini, the Travel Takes Mini jewelry case and I'm just using it for my ear uh, buds, or whatever these things are called. I can't stand these things, but I just deal with them because I need earphones now for my devices and they don't use the cord ones anymore but my real problem with this well i don't like the way they look hanging out of your ear i think they look like cigarette butts hanging out of your ear um i think they look asinine but they don't stay in my ear well when i'm walking around and that so i'm gonna have to maybe try to find a different brand but anyway i just slip it in there and then i, I this is just the chamois divider thing and then i have the that came in the item and then I have the cord, charger cord there, sort of tacked down by the earring strips. Um, so yeah, I do like the way that this thing charges. I, I like the concept of those earbuds, but I just don't, I think they could look a little bit better and they don't stay in my ear well. So I gotta find something that works better with, I guess, the shape of my ear. I don't know. <laughs> then I have my turn lock and bloom boom. I do love this pattern. Uh, I wish it had critters in it, but I do love it. Um, I've talked about it before. It just kind of reminds me of, um, you know, patterns from deck chairs uh, from my youth. So deck chairs that I saw in the 70s and the early 80s at the Jersey Shore. So I, I just love this. I love all this, the detail work in this that you can, you can sort of see, you know, here. It's just lovely, all that little detail. And I like the, that they show the undersides, you know, of a lot of these flowers. I think that's nice. So it kind of gives you this perspective, like you're almost like a small sprite, like a little fairy with these large flowers above you looking up at them. So I do like this, this flower too. And this, you know, for people who are not familiar with this style, you know, there's no seam there on the bottom. And so the fabric wraps. And since this doesn't, this, this pattern works for that, you know, it doesn't have an obvious right side up. And so it works well. Love the turn lock wallet. I didn't think I would originally because I, I, something about this hardware just seemed kind of garish to me or I don't know, just very pronounced, but I really love it. I love it. I have a, a slew of them. Crossword puzzle book for sitting here. Um, packable tote in Peacock Garden, I think this was, the factory outlet pattern. Um, and yes, I did unzip it in the store to see where the peacocks were because I'm a little OCD. Uh, I'm a little obsessive about my critters. Uh, very easy to, uh, I have been using this in New York because they really have restricted the use of plastic bags from stores and stuff. Uh, so I've been, this has been getting, my, my packable totes have been getting a lot of use. I have two in um, Penelope's garden and I have this one and sort of would buy more. I'm just waiting for more patterns that I like. Um, it's very easy to fold up for people who might be, people who might be worried don't be because it's very easy to fold up um what else is in here oh and i don't think i said the pattern name of this of course because i'm a little out of practice with my videos uh fruit grove and again fruit grove in the carson cell phone crossbody um 
which I removed the strap from, and then I just use it in my bag as a pa extra padding for my cell phone. I have on occasion, although it's rare, for, I haven't done it in a while, just use this as a clutch. I put my phone in it, and I shove a zip ID in this slip pocket, and it does fit in there, and it's real kind of tight in there, so that feels secure. And then I usually just hold my keys in my hand or something. Um, also, Fruit Grove, I mean, I, I just, if, if I could have everything in Fruit Grove, I would be much happier <laughs> in life. <laughs> Checkbook, because after this I have to go pay some bills. Um, and uh, Fruit Grove Checkbook. I, 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 you know, I would have loved a tote in this, and I'm just sort of heartbroken that they never released it in a tote and never put it in the custom section and I I don't know if people are aware but they seem to have disbanded uh, the um, custom section of their website I don't know whether that's permanent or not my even though some of the language around the announcement made it seem like it was temporary I don't buy that I don't think it's coming back that's just my gut feeling I don't think especially with the other changes they're making. I don't think it's profitable enough for them to keep to keep doing it. If it comes back, I'll be overjoyed and you'll be able to knock me over with a feather. <laughs> I, I just have a feeling it's not coming back. So I'm relieved that I got, there are one or two things I was hoping to still get, but I, and I'm not gonna get. But the thing, I have the, the the core things that I really wanted I already have. Ooh, somebody's moving and that's a spot that's good for tomorrow. Oh, I mean good for Monday. But actually if I stay here, I'll be good for No, I'll be good for Monday and I'll be good for Tuesday. He's not that's not good for Tuesday. Oh, that guy's taking the spot anyway, so <laughs> um yeah, I think it's better for me to just stay here anyway. Anyway, checkbook, fruit grove, really love this. Very sad I can't get you know everything in it. I do have the small backpack somewhere in this. Um, yeah, love that. Love it. What else? Uh, eyeglass case in um, Cloud Vine. Like that pattern a lot. Still hoping that they might release a Cloud Vine multi in something. I'm not sure whether it would be signature or factory but I feel they showed it to us in a pattern survey in the insiders group a while back so I'm hopeful that maybe at some point it will show up somewhere and then I'll buy everything <laughs> I can get my hand my little grubby paws on uh, this was a hair accessories kit in rainforest canopy this is recycled fabric um, I like this it's got a sort of like a, almost has a, a bit of a hardness to it like it's a case and it has micro, oh, sorry, I don't know where, my, where my lens is. Um, oh, there's a bird. Woohoo, bird. <laughs> it has the, the micro square quilting that's, that used to be in the Hadley line. It's weird that it just showed up for this item. Anyway, this is the hair accessories kit, and I keep a charger cord in here that I carry around in my bag. Um, see, it, can, it has the head, I still have the headband in there, but I, I got rid of everything else that was in there. I think there's some bobby pins and a couple of scrunchies or something that never work for my hair because my hair is too heavy. I have a lot of hair, very thick hair. I mean, the individual hairs are very fine, but there's a lot of it and it just pulls. It's so heavy and it's long. It just pulls, pulls down on, on, and the ponytails never stay up. <laughs> With those kind of scrunchy things. Then I have um, two zip IDs that I always carry around with me for photos. I'll probably be switching these out, a but I always have these two on me. But I may be, you know, switching out, getting some more. I used to carry some more, but um, right now I just have these two. But I'm sure at some point I'll I'll have more ganged up on here again. But I just gang them all up on a lanyard, and I think this was the French Ditzy. I think that's what this was called. Love these, love these lanyards that are like these smooth woven ones. They have just kind of a nice hand feel. I love the birds. And so this one with my picture of Duke is uh, Bloom Boom Navy. It's the one with the, oh, where am I? There we go. 
That's the one with the butterflies or whatever those are. Uh, I love this, love this pattern. And I really wish they had made this in a Vera tote. So upset they did not make this in a Vera tote. Uh, the regular size Vera tote. I think it only was in the small. The small's too precious for me for mo with most patterns. It's too small, unfortunately. And I didn't really want it in that bucket. I do think it looks pretty in that bucket bag. Um, that sort of newer style. That looks like the sort of mini Carson Hobo used to look. Excuse me. But um, I don't know, something about this this pattern on that bag looks a little dated to me, so I'm not, I'm not, I couldn't do it. And then I have the Deluxe in um, Hummingbird Park. Uh, bird, what is the bird? And people, for people who don't know, the Deluxe ID opens up and it has this like double-sided window. And that's why I like it for pictures. You know, because you get two in there, and they, you know, they show, they both show. So, I mean, I guess, you know, they're intending you to use it for your IDs, but I never have an ID in a window that's sort of out to the world. I guess I could put one on the inside and a picture on the outside, but um, put another bird there. See, I, I, had, I have a bunch of these zip IDs in this pattern because I kept seeing better bird placement. <laughs> so, so I really didn't need this. But when I saw the two birds, I was like, well, I can't, well, how can I walk out of the store? I'll never forget myself. <laughs> I'll be thinking about that stupid zip ID for weeks. Ah, uh, the joys of being addicted to Vera. Well, I got my store loyalty reward cards on another one of those silky lanyards. I think this was Rainforest. Oh, God. What was this one? Rainforest Canopy Birdies Navy? Something, something like that. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> this was another pattern that I, oh, sorry. <laughs> Out of practice. Not that I was ever that, that in practice. <laughs> um, this was a, a pattern I wish they had released in, uh, in some kind of fabric for a bag. I would, in custom, I would have been all over it, like white on rice. I would have been up on that like a big dog. <laughs> um, and my coin purse in Penelope's garden with the hedgehog and it's a fabric, fabric factory outlet pattern. Uh, I do have coins in here, imagine that. That's, that's new for me to use coins. What else have I got? I have to use a coin purse for, for co actual coins. Um, what else have I got in here? Oh, uh, also a coin purse from the, the signature store coin purse. And this is, um, what was this? Plum Pansies. Like this pattern. I've talked about it a little bit. Um, has a, for me, has sort of a film noir feeling. Don't hit my car, mister. <laughs> and I, in here, this is this I just am using for something very sentimental. This is not for anything practical. Um, this is a handkerchief for my father's from when he was a little boy, and it's embroidered with his initial A. So I just carry that for sentimental reasons. Oh, that jackhammering is just what you want when you're making a video. <laughs> Let's see. I, I want to play this back and see if the sound quality is okay. <laughs> Hopefully, it's okay for me to load up. This is a tape measure. Uh, again, Peacock Garden. When I saw the little peacock head. I thought, well, I can't, can't walk away from that. Can't walk away from that critter. What are the odds that you would get the head on that little thing? <laughs> and the small. Uh, pouch from the cosmetic trio again factory outlet store item and pattern this was i want to say lemon grove i, I don't I, I don't remember you can see that it's got butterflies so uh of course i was gonna be all over it what do i have in here oh just feminine items <laughs> and um the medium size Again, from that cosmetic trio. Oh, so you can just, just for a size comparison. Um, I have a large one somewhere, I don't know. 
where it is. All my shits, all my stuff. <laughs> all my stuff's all over the place. That little slip reminds me I'm gonna curse here, so oh well. Um, <laughs> get, move your kids to another room. So I'm sure you're watching this with them. <laughs> um, what's that great George Carlin routine that he used to do? Where all your, all your shit is stuff and other people's stuff is shit. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so this is a medium, the medium one. Um, these are handy, although I always feel like when I'm in the factory outlet store and I'm looking at the cosmetic trio, that it feels like an expensive item. Even when, you know, obviously things are priced up so that they can give you the discount and it's all psychological and you think you're getting a deal. But even when it's discounted, even at the discount price, it just seems like a lot for, for this item for some reason for me. So I don't buy that much. I really gotta like the pattern, which usually means it's gotta have animals in it of some kind or, or insects. The insects that are on the list of, of acceptable insects to have on a pattern for me. <laughs> not, not every, I, I won't take just any insect. <laughs> Only certain in, uh, insects are okay. So that's it for the, I mean, there's a couple of things in here, but there's no, no more Vera, like my hand sanitizer and my, um, what else? Oh, some, some napkins and stuff. Um, that's it. Again, uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the, um, Best in show Vera Tote, the regular size one, so the bigger one. Love, love this bag. Love this bag. Um, so that was it. Uh, thanks so much for for joining me uh, in my in my video after after a long absence, and um, hopefully I'll be able to make some more videos um, soon. See you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.